Creative Fire. What is it and how do you find it? Hmm. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Tina with Overall Adventures. Let's talk about creative fire. Let's talk about inspiration. Let's talk about creativity. Let's talk about that, that je ne sais quoi, that spark that causes us to come to the blank page. Let's start with inspiration. I think we collectively have an idea of what that word means. When I think of inspiration, I think of something outside of myself that is inspiring me or motivating me in a sense to create something. That could be something that I see on YouTube or on someone else's social media page, right? Or it could be something that I see in a gallery or read in a book, right? That somebody else created something, it sets off an aha moment or a light bulb or a spark in me that inspires me to want to create something. Creative fire is the opposite. To me, this idea comes from the self. It is inspiration, but instead of looking outside of ourselves, it comes from within. Creative fire is the whisper, the spark maybe the cry, maybe the wail, maybe the scream that causes you to pick up the pen or the paintbrush or to get your hands on the keys of the piano or the keys of the typewriter. It's the moment before we start making anything. It's the internal moment in ourselves that says, I wanna write today. I have something to say. I have something to share with the world. It's that moment. It's the moment when you're looking at the blank page or the blank canvas or the blank word processing document. And that, that inhale of breath and that fire that helps us to get started and get something down. That to me is creative fire and that comes from inside of us. That doesn't come from anybody else, any other influencers, any other, anything. It comes from within. So why a fire metaphor? When I think of fire, I think of passion. I think of a primal sense of survival. I think of warmth. I think of heat. I think of people gathering around together. I think of just an inspiration, a moment one match can create something totally new. And I think of what makes us human. Fire has been a part of humanity to help us survive just in the same way that we are made. We are made for creation. We are made to make. That's what we do, whether it's telling stories, whether it's painting or writing or drawing, we're made to do this, to share with one another. So it's, it just is a part of us. So how do you find your creative fire? How do you find it? Where is it? Where did it go? Where is it? Well, I'm tricking you here. Y you can't find your creative fire. Guess what? You already have it. It's already there. It's already in you. And you can, you can question me all you want right now being like, oh, I'm not creative. I'm not creative. You are, it's there. It's there because you're human, because that's who we are. You have creative fire in you. So it's not about finding your creative fire. It's actually about listening to it and trying to hear that whisper, that shout, that cry to pick up the pen and practicing that skill of listening to it. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips right now on how to improve your listening skills to that creative instinct that you definitely possess. Increase your time in nature. I'm not gonna go into the science of why this is good for us. All I need to say is being in nature brings us back to our primal nature, which in turn connects us to our creative spirit, our creative fire. You know this, if you go for a walk in the woods, it feels good. 
in the bones. It just does. Try to be more present. And I know that's a really big thing to say. So instead I'm gonna say, try to connect more with your senses. So the five senses, what is your body feeling? What, what it, and listening to all of this, Night, right? It's an, it's emotions. It's everything. What do you smell? What do you taste? What do you touch? What do you see? Because, because that is going to in turn help you listen to your inner self, to your inner fire stream of conscious writing. So this is in turn going to help you get connected with those senses and get connected with that instinctual nature that you have to make you can even have a conversation with that piece of yourself. You can talk to your creative fire and you know ask ask them questions. Who are you? What what do you want to create? Why are you here? Things like that. You could so you could have a dialogue in that stream of conscious writing with your creative fire. Practice curiosity. Be curious about the world, about other people, about the way things work. Ask questions and a great way to ground yourself in this is I notice dot, dot, dot as a prompt and I wonder. So that's something, what do you notice and wonder in your life around you? Wake up because that creative fire is right there. Keep your materials with you. So for me as a, as a writer, as a journaler, I always have a pen and paper nearby because when I have those observations or when I'm hearing from my intuitive self, I wanna have a pen there to capture that. I want to have a pen there to listen to what's happening inside. If you want the ultimate poison to creative fire, it's comparison to others. It's kind of like taking inspiration and like making it toxic. So like inspiration, meaning like we were looking out at other things outside of ourselves to get some kind of creative fuel, but instead we end up doing that and then using that as like a damage to our own creative fire. So really try to stop comparing yourself to others. You've heard this on YouTube. YouTubers love to talk about this, but then everybody does it. So everyone does it. It's human, right? So, but, but recognizing when you're seeking outside of yourself versus like when you're filling up your own cup or connecting with your own spark. And the last one is cutting out distractions. And what that means is that means social media. That means our phones. That means laptops. We need time away from screens to actually listen inside of ourselves. If we're constantly consuming other people's content and other people's inspiration, we're not connecting with ourselves. So get off of YouTube, get off of YouTube and, and, and tap in with yourself with that own piece of creative fire and notice the moment before you pick up the pen. Try to, try to be present and say, whoa, what in me is, is drawing me to write right now or paint, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you so much for joining me. I am truly, deeply wishing and sending you creative fire. So, you know, get off of YouTube and start to create, or maybe in the comments below, tell me something that your creative fire is whispering or screaming or, or yearning for you to do.